Hello Puzzle Pals, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and here I talk about puzzles. So on my last video that I did, I had somebody request a collection and they were like, please at home quarantined, lots of time on my hands. So I was like, I have time on my hands too. I guess I can fill one. So I have puzzles in a few different places. So I'm going to do them all like like all these ones first and then those ones and then the other ones. So this is my to-do shelf. So these are puzzles that I have not yet done. Um, okay, that's not totally true. Let's try again. This is my main puzzle shelf. This shelf is where I keep all of my to-do puzzles as well as my puzzles that I have done that I really want to keep and not trade away or ones that I haven't decided if I wanna trade or not. Then I have a pile in my bedroom. So those are puzzles that I have done and are either tagged for somebody, like they're, it's like assigned already for a trade, but we're just waiting for like, you know, the world to stop ending before we do that. Or puzzles that I would be willing to trade because I have done them. Okay, so then the next place that I have puzzles are in my living room. That is, I have like a section of the living room that's mine for puzzling. Um, so there I have all the boxes and the puzzles of puzzles that are assembled but have yet to be disassembled. On top of that, I also have a um, collection of puzzles that is currently at my aunt's house. I think she has four or five of my puzzles, six even maybe, um, that I lent her during at the beginning of this pandemic she was on vacation and she came back and had to quarantine herself in her house for 14 days so i walked a bunch of puzzles over to her and left them there they are still there she's still working on them so i have those as well so i'm going to try to group all the brands together so hopefully that's helpful and let's get started so this bag is the first bag of puzzles it has all of my disney and cardinal puzzles that are from the dollar tree so let's start there None of these puzzles have names, so we're just gonna make it up. Four Princesses, Bippity Boppity Boop, Donald Duck, Toy Story 4, Cinderella Collage, Frozen 2, Mickey Mouse, Warhol Princesses, Belle, and The Lion King. Many travel bags. This is by the brand Cardinal, the same people who made the Disney puzzles. Pop's DC Heroes Collage Puzzle, also by Cardinal. I had no idea. So moving on to Springbok, Color of Money. Shoes, 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 Coca-Cola Decades of Tradition, Ornamental Wonderland, St. Basil's Cathedral, Garden Delights. This is my all-time favorite puzzle. It's called Pencil Pushers. It's a Springbok and it's only 500, but it is my absolute favorite. Euro Graphics, Water Lilies, the VW Groovy Bus, the Human Body, Map of Canada, Map of the World, and a Crazy World. Next up, White Mountain Puzzles, the 1990s, Old Time Candy, Games We Played, Television History. I have two of the Robert Silver's Photo Mosaic Puzzles, Lion and Tigger. I have three puzzles by Gallison, New York City Subway, Astrology, and Vintage Dollhouse, which is actually a double-sided puzzle, so it has an image on both sides. I have two puzzles by Falcon, The Whitesmith's Cottage, and 12 Days of Christmas. Next up is Ravensburger. From the food porn series, I have The Funky Brunch, You Bake Me Crazy, and You Had Me at Pizza. I also have the other one in the series, which makes up the fourth puzzle in a different pile, so I'll show you that when I get there. Sketches, which is sketches for Pixar movies. The Pet Parlor, which is a what if puzzle, so the puzzle inside does not match the puzzle on the box, I do believe. Santa's Christmas Supper and Flower Power. I have the Silver Crypt Puzzle. This comes in a few colors, but I have the silver one. Antique Map, which is a 3000 piece that I cannot wait to dive into. Also, Tropical Paradise, which is again, a larger 2000 piece puzzle. Those are all the Ravensburgers on my shelf. Like I said before, I have some in both of my other piles. Cobble Hill, I have two different puzzles, pink, and I also have blue. From Mega Puzzles, Friends, Horses in Art Batic, Timeless Mickey, Minnie and Mickey Forever. Buffalo Brand, I have Butterflies, as well as Golden Moments. And I have Colorful Bird Houses for Sale, which is a 500 piece by Crazy Art, as well as this 150 piece double sided puzzle, same image both sides, rotated at 90 degrees, also by the brand Crazy Art, also only a dollar at the dollar store. 
There doesn't seem to be a name on it, but it's number 1025. Sticking on the same um, kind of wavelength as that double-sided puzzle because all the other ones that I have are just like random singles. I don't have multiples from the same brand. So this is the world's most difficult jigsaw puzzle, the fishing edition, which is the same concept as the double-sided one. Same image, two sides of the puzzle, flipped at 90 degrees. M.C. Escher self-portrait. The Simpsons, printed by Dana Wares. The Family Guy puzzle in the brand Aquarius. Canuco e Crafts, hopefully I'm saying that right, printed by Masterpieces. Lustig by Ikea. The Wizard of Oz, which literally has no company branding on it, so I have no idea who printed it. The Nutcracker Suite by the Vermont Puzzle Company. Ottawa by Dowdle Folk Art. Scooby-Doo, and this one says on the back it was designed exclusively for the Warner Brothers Studio Store, so I guess that's where it's from originally. Toronto Skyline by Milton Bradley. Honeysuckle, art by Josephine Wall, printed by Sherlock's. Ride Your Dreams, art by Jody Bergsma, and it doesn't really say the company that printed it on here. Merry Christmas, no branding in English, and Merry spelt wrong, so there's that. Chankuism Immersed and Released, it's um, a fine art puzzle painting. Let me pull it out for you here. It's also all one color. Extra challenge. Heartland by Masterpieces. Beach Going by the New York Puzzle Company. The Park by John Van Hustern. Educa Puzzles. Santa Paws by FX Schmidt. Also, this is the only FX Schmidt puzzle I've ever seen that is not a shaped puzzle, which blows my mind. Disney and Thomas Kincaid collection of four. This one has Aladdin, Winnie the Pooh, Beauty and the Beast, as well as, um, who's that mermaid? Ariel, the Little Mermaid, Keiko, Keiko brand. I don't know how to say that. Avocado Park by Gibsons. This one doesn't have a title on it, but I've just called, been calling it blue, um, because it's the blue M&M, and this was printed for the M&M store. Um, so again, no specific brand, just printed for the M&M store. That's all I can find on here. This is a collection of artwork by John Powell, and they're printed for the Art Gallery series of puzzles, um, printed by Sherlock's. These puzzles are kind of fun because they're a little bit different. They're puzzles that you like assemble black and white, and then you color them in either with markers, crayons, puzzle crayons, paint, I guess kind of whatever really floats your boat. So this first one here, um, this is the sealed box. I have two of these. One I've opened and painted and assembled and blah, blah, blah. I can show that to you, I guess. But this is the, like, what it looks like before you do all that. It comes in, like, the black and white, and then you can color it however you want. This one is called, I don't know if it has a name. Let's find out. Right there, mandalas. Which is weird because there's literally not a single mandala in this image. On the same lines, I have Beneath the Waves, which is a kaleidoscope coloring jigsaw puzzle. Um, this one is open and not colored, so I can show you what they look like. They're literally just like black and white puzzle pieces, which is super cool. And they're just paper, not glossy or anything, so you can color them in after. And then this puzzle here is a map of Canada. It's um, in my puzzle collection because it's my puzzle that I got when I was four and... You know, now my four-year-old does it, which is really freaking cool. <laughs> Flurry Flower Friends by Mia Charo. Cloudberries in Gradient. So we're now in my bedroom where some of my other puzzles are. And so let me show you what those are. Vintage Art Supplies by Coppa Hill. This is a 2000 piece. Door Separators um, from the Cats Collection by Buffalo. This one and the other one are both already promised to trade to the same person. This is the um, Ravensburger on a Roll puzzle. It's the sushi one, the final out of the four for the food porn collection. This one also is already going to someone. That puzzle is also going to the same person who is getting this puzzle. This is Lanuba from Cirque du Soleil. Um, I never saw Lanuba when they were performing it. I don't know if they still are. Um, but the puzzle was amazing. Also have Lighthouse at Sunset, which is also promised to somebody. These ones are for trade, but they are not traded to anyone yet. Sweetheart Cafe, another Thomas Kincaid, um, and Disney collab. 
This is another one of the Jodi Bergsma um, Silver Lion Fairies puzzle. This one is in Moonlight Fantasy. Lakeside Cabin by Buffalo. Farm Flower Shed, um, also Buffalo. Impossibles in Take a Coffee Break. I also have another Impossibles in Raining Cats and Dogs. That one, one of my, the neighbors in my building has. Metropolitan Museum of Art inside the museum. This one also was printed for the gift shop in the museum, so don't have a specific brand for you. This FX Schmidt puzzle is in a shape. This is how I know FX Schmidt puzzles to be. This puzzle I got um, a long time ago. The last time I assembled it was 16 years ago. Love it, it's a deer. And finally in my room, the last puzzle for trade that has yet to be traded is Donuts by Eurographics. All right, so we are now in my living room. This is my puzzling section. This is my giant current monster that I'm working on. And these are the puzzles that are out here that are finished. First is the mandala puzzle, which I showed you guys the one that I have that is not assembled. This is the one that is assembled. And I'll insert a clip while I'm talking of what it actually looks like now that it's done. I think it's beautiful. Um, I also have this green lantern, a 300 piece puzzle by Be Puzzled. Bottle Cap Hills by Ravensburger. The most recent giant puzzle I finished is Vegas Baby by Buffalo. It's a 2000 piece. And of course, my big monster down here that I'm working on. I'll just show you the lid to the box because it's falling apart and it's huge and heavy. It is my 12,000 piece Ravensburger puzzle. Those are now officially what's in the hallway, what I'm trading, and what's in the living room. And while I was putting the other puzzles away, I realized that I have three more that I keep under my bed. So I'm gonna show you guys those next. Um, two of them have been assembled. They're just like giant puzzles. Like one's a, are they both 2000 or one's three and one's two? Um, and the one puzzle I haven't put together yet. All right, so the last three in my collection, this video is really all over the place because clearly I have too many puzzles, so I need to store them all over the place. The only ever 3D puzzle I've ever had. Um, this is, <sighs> I'm out of breath, why? The Ravensburg 3D puzzle of the globe. So another matte puzzle, because I guess I don't have enough of those. This is the first 2000 piece I ever completed. It is the Ravensburg panorama of the exact same castle I'm working on for my 12,000 piece. So, you know, some things really do just come full circle. This one is called Beautiful Rainforest and is by Colossus and is 3,000 pieces. I don't think I told you the other one is New Chinst Wine Castle. How do you say that? I don't know. And then of course the globe. All right, now I think we're really done. All right, folks, so I have now ran around my house. I have shown you all of my puzzles that are everywhere. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that, I don't know, I don't know what you've gained out of a puzzle collection video. If you have a puzzle that I have, you'd like to assemble it together, let's have a puzzle battle. Those are a thing now going around the Instagram. Feel free to follow me at Puzzle in Progress. Send me a message if we have the same puzzle. We can do them at the same time. It would be cool. It's like a challenge. You can do it first, you know? All right, so I hope you guys have a good day. If you have a puzzle collection and you have a video of it up, let me know because, okay, I understand the point of them now. I enjoy seeing other people's puzzle collections. So that makes sense as to why somebody would want to see mine. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.